like we say here on the budget Pinas channel don't buy it build it when you've got a thing that's a bad thing it's time to make a thing this dizzy ain't gonna cut it all I have is one $8 Mazda VR sensor so we'll make everything else just stick an engine degree wheel on a shaft and bolt your disc on top and then just whack a grinder in a compound vise I went with a ridiculous 36 teeth at 10 degree intervals and that winds up with 72 cuts Can't you turn that racket down? You can do it! You stop on the mark, but because of grinder wear, you have to add a division every six teeth. This is the back of the tooth, which was four degrees back. The one millimeter cutting disc wandered because it's too flexible. So after I drilled the teeth out, I had to put the disc back in and skim both sides of the tooth with a big 6mm thick grinding wheel to make it more accurate. You'll hear it now straining as it's wandering and jamming. You think this is boring? I had to do the whole thing twice. The borosity of the drill left much to be desired. After I popped the teeth out I filed a nice radius in there. The old link the holes and knock the center out trick. I used the stiffener plate as a template for my plate but when I made my plate I made a much tighter fit so it would be more accurate. The world's a bit how you doing because I only had two 40 year old stainless steel to mild steel rods. That wheel moves more than a nudist in a cactus patch. Point 0.7 run out was a bit too much for me. Grinder, grinder, grinder.
under 0.2 mil it'll have to do. The sensors has, has slots to move it sideways, but not in and out, so I had to slot my plate. Two days and $16. Ta-da!